What's up guys, this is Clay. I'm the president and owner of Thunder Laser USA. And today I wanted to take a quick second to talk about our different lines of CO2 lasers. So we have the Bolt series and then we also have the Nova series. And I wanted to talk about the difference between the lines, like what's the difference between Nova and Bolt. And then also what's the difference between the Bolt, the Bolt Plus, the Bolt Pro, so on and so forth. So let's get into the main differences between the two. First thing I wanna talk about is space. So as you notice, this Nova machine beside me is much bigger than this Bolt machine. So our Bolt series are our most compact machines. This machine is actually, it's about three foot by 28 inches. So this is, you know, if you're limited on space, uh, definitely wanna to look towards the Bolt. Whereas the Nova series, you know, this is kind of our medium level machine. We do have one smaller than this, but then we also have two that are bigger than this. So if you're getting into large format type stuff, uh, if you're going to be doing sheet cutting and things like that, um, the Nova series is going to be a good option for you. Power is another thing that is a big difference between the two. So this is a 100 watt laser and this is a 30 watt laser. So the Nova machines are much more powerful. They lend themselves more to a cutting application. So if you're going to be doing more cutting, uh, the Nova series is where that really shines. Whereas if you're going to do more engraving, this is where the bolt uh, really shines. And on that note, like the uh, tube in this laser is an RF tube. So there's actually two kinds of CO2 laser tubes. There's a RF tube and a glass tube. All the bolt series are RF tubes and all the Nova series are glass tubes. The RF tubes produce a higher quality beam. So it's gonna allow you to get finer detail engraving. So again, if you're looking for you're gonna be doing a lot of engraving. This is going to be a better bet for you. And then speed also. So this machine, all the Nova series engrave at a thousand millimeters a second, whereas the Bolt series kind of starts at a thousand millimeters a second and then goes up. So the regular Bolt goes at a thousand millimeters a second. The Bolt Plus is 1500 millimeters a second. And then the Bolt Pros go 2000 millimeters a second. Okay, another thing you guys wanna pay attention to is pass-through capabilities. So the Nova series has both a front and back pass-through, which allows you to slide sheet material all the way through. Again, so if you're working on larger projects, uh, big sheets of different materials, the, the Nova is better for that. The Bolt does have a front pass-through capability, so you can open the front and material will slide uh, out the front, but not out the back. Okay guys, and now I wanna talk about a few of the differences between the Bolt machines specifically. So when you go to the Bolt Plus, you're adding on dual stage air assist. So if you see these green buttons on the machine, that's what that is. Um, this allows you to control the air so you can have higher air when you're cutting or lower air when you're engraving. That's very beneficial if you're running an engrave and a cut job at the same time. That way you're not having to change your air assist um, between jobs. And then what, also when you go to the Bolt Plus, you're getting an upgraded tube and it's going to go 1500 millimeters a second versus 1000 millimeters a second. And then when you go to the Bolt Pro, you're going to be adding a stand and then you can go up in working area. So you're gonna get a bigger laser bed. Uh, the Bolt Pro is faster at 2000 millimeters a second. And then you're also going up in wattage. So the differences between our Nova series machines, guys, is very simple. Uh, really, you're just going up in the size of the tube, which allows you to cut thicker materials and cut faster, and the bed, the, the, the working area of the bed. Um, I will note that the Nova 24 is technically a desktop model, and the, um, the Nova 35 and up, the bed drops nine inches, whereas the Nova 24 only drops six inches. So I hope that helps guys. This was an overview of all the differences of our CO2 lasers. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.